There's a MC Hammer Barbie boombox. I didn't even know one existed. Hey guys, thanks for stopping in here. My name is Danielle. If you've never been here before, I am a part-time reseller and I sell mainly on eBay. Um, so I found at a yard sale not too long ago, let me see if I can get up there without the glare, um, this wish book from 1991 Sears Christmas wish book catalog. So this is just going to be kind of like a chill video today. Um, I'm not going to be talking about anything else that I picked up except for this book because me and you are going to take a step back in time to 1991 and that's going to happen right now. All right, so raise your hand up high if in 1991 you were a little thing. We're gonna dive into this catalog and see what kids were wishing for for Christmas in 1991. In 1991, I was 11 years old, so I definitely fall in the category of somebody who would have been circling the heck out of this kind of book right here so that my mom could take those circles with her when she went to the local toy shop, which was Johnny's toys um, in my area. So let me know what you were wishing for uh, for Christmas when you were like 10, 11, 12 years old. So yeah, we're gonna look into this book and you let me know in the comments what you see that takes you back because I tell you, you're gonna go back. All right, so here we go. I'm not gonna hit every single page in this catalog because there are, let's see. 790 some pages. So we're just gonna get to the good parts and here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Bart Simpson, more turtles, Mario, the Turtle Watch. You can pick up a Turtle Watch for $14.99 in 1991. Okay, so I'm in the women's section and right away I see this advertisement for the Pump Reebok Shoes for Women. Price $94.99. That was pretty high back in the 90s, I would say. Dang. And this, oh my goodness. I've got a glare on this, but look at that. Look at those, like, I don't even know what you call them. We call them, like, MC Hammer pants. Training pants, they say. Some kids' clothes, too, and i got to stop on these McKids clothes because I remember wearing McKids clothes when I was little. Oh my goodness. So I had to make a minor adjustment because I kept seeing the glare of the light every time I turned the page. So I now have the catalog set up on my legs. Check out these NFL team gear here. Look at this. Come across this stuff today. I'll be making some money. Kid size or men size. Oh my goodness. Wow. I know that jacket right there. Goes for a lot of money. It's been a while since I comped one of them out, but a few hundred, I think, at least. Gosh, look at those patterns. Wow. Who had these? Let me know in the comments below if you had something like this. Oh my goodness. I'm just, <laughs> I want to know if you wore these. Were you caught dead in these? Tell me. Here we go. Here's some shoes. Ooh. Look at these Converse. Let's see. I guess that's what the brand is on all of these shoes. Converse. Let's see what some of the prices were. Well, I guess they're all 60 bucks. $60? $60 and $36, apparently. There was a $36 pair, too. They had a lot of the NFL. Ooh, I know that's worth some money. Um, what was that? That was in Christmas Vacation. This, um... Jersey right there. Wow. Dang. If I could go back to 1991 and get some of this stuff, I'd be set up. Look at those hats. 
Okay, so as you guys might remember, 1991 Barbie was very, very popular still. Oh my goodness. And I am just in awe because Barbie was one of my favorite toys back in the day. <laughs> Look who we have there. MC Hammer. Right in the middle of two Barbies. What are they? Happy birthday, Barbies. There's a MC Hammer Barbie boombox. I didn't even know one existed. That is freaking cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can't get over that. Let me know what you had. Did you have any of this stuff? Did you circle any of this stuff? Did you wish for any of this stuff? Look at all these outfits. Wow. So they were trying to push the Little Mermaid stuff, I guess. Back then. You see a couple of those things. Cinderella. And, oh, we've got several different houses. Is this loving family up here in the corner, I wonder? Here we get into Playmobil. Some Playmobil action going on. And we have some dolls. Dolls with pl dolls with plenty of personality. Hmm. Cute. I guess if I looked closer it probably tells what all they do. Look how creepy that one looks. It looks kind of weird. Baby Alive. Oh my gosh, I had a Baby Alive. I don't know how old I was, but I did. This is a burp, uh, baby that crawls. Wow, there's a life-size baby. Oh, here we are into the Cabbage Patch. See the Cabbage Patch up there? Who didn't want a Cabbage Patch? Oh my gosh, they were the biggest thing back then. Oh, who's that? Is that number five? Magic Nursery Pet. Hmm. Don't recall him. There's a Kenner. Kenner doll with a bicycle. Here we go with some plush. You could get any of these plush on this page. The highest one, the highest cost of the plush was the elephant, and he was $35. And Lois coming in at the white polar bear, and he was 13 bucks. Some briar horses. They were pretty expensive. Some toddler toys. It is so funny. I have one of these in my eBay store right now for sale. That's hilarious. $19.91 at did not realize she was quite that old. Okay, so who doesn't see those at yard sales from time to time? The big football. That was retailed at $29.99 back then. The big football toy basket. Sleeping gear. Oh my gosh, check out the Where's Waldo. Hulk and then Ultimate Warrior. Oh my gosh. <laughs> New Kids on the Block and Vanilla Ice. You got Michael Jordan also. And I was surprised to see the Babysitter's Club sleeping bag down there in the corner. Playmobil stuff again. This was really big. Like this was one of the big toys back then. I do recall. And then here's some Lego. Lego wasn't quite as big as it is right now because they did a lot of branding with Disney and the different movies and all of that and then they just exploded. Look at this. Crafty, crafty gifts. And then here we get into some trading cards. 
which are pretty hot right now, but I don't know if these from 1990s are do anything or if they're any good. And then here we move into some comic books. Looks like you could buy a lot or like a value pack, I guess they're calling it for $19.99. And then here's your sets of books that were really popular. You could get six babysitter books for $15.99. And Girl Talk, oh my gosh. I'm seeing some titles I haven't seen in a long time. Ooh, and the walkie-talkies. Who didn't want walkie-talkies? I think every kid did. Oh, look at that. That's walkie-talkies in the shape of a Pepsi bottle. No way. This is some, like, spy gear stuff. Hmm. I didn't even know things like that were available for kids back then. Games. More board games. These little electronic handheld games can do really well on eBay too, depending on the game. All right, so we've got some Nintendo stuff here. So up in the top left-hand corner, we've got Game Boy, and apparently for $89.95 in 1991, you could buy this Game Boy with headphones, and it came with a Tetris game also. And we have some different variations down here. Maybe some different add-on stuff like cases and things like that. And we have some games over here. Let's see what we have. I'll just show you guys because I don't know what was good back then. The only thing I ever played was Mario. And that was on my cousin's Nintendo. <laughs> I don't think we ever owned one at our house. But you can see all the games that are listed there. Let's see, games were going for all in the 20s. Like 19, 20 bucks. You can see the list of them there, what they cost. And then we have some Atari and Sega. Looks like Atari tried to come out with like a handheld thing that was comparable to the Game Boy. And their system was $99. And I guess these were the games that came along with them and they were priced higher too. They were $34 or $35 each. And here we have a Nintendo system for $89.95, which if you will remember, that was the same price as the handheld Game Boy. And some accessories here on the game. Look at the price on the game. $40, $50. Bucks. Oh wow, cool. Look at this advertisement. Introducing the new 16-bit Super Nintendo game system. Super Nintendo Entertainment System available September 24th, 1992. The whopping price of $199.95. Woo! Some tracks for you kids that like to play with cars. Some Darta tracks. Oh my gosh, I bought my kids these whenever they were little. We had some fun with some Darta tracks. What does 12 say? Fort Apache, 1999. Doesn't say the maker of any of these toys. A lot of them. These look like little mac micro machines, or maybe they're just like a knockoff of a micro machine. Ooh, what's this? Ninja Turtles. Cowabunga dudes, look at all that. Look at that playset. Here's the action figures. Zoom in on those. 
Maybe you guys have some action figures you're trying to identify. This could help. <laughs> Look at the car in the uh, blimp there, too. Oh, got some wrestlers and a little ring and some Marvel. Look, that was what they offered in Marvel. That was it. And this is, what is this? X-Men, maybe, at the top. So we've got some other action figure play sets here. I recognize the back car, but I'm not recognizing anything else. Moon shoes. New moon shoes. Out of this world fun. How many people broke their leg or ankle on a moon boot? Or moon shoe, I guess. Alright, you resellers. Here's some blow molds for you. Check them out. They were pretty pricey to buy new. Look at that. Sweet. Oh yeah, everybody wants the face too. I didn't even know they made that face still in 1991. It's when I see people resell pretty good. I've had these carolers before in the past. Of course, I've sold Santas and snowmen. Never have found a train set like that. I don't even know how you would ship it. It would have to be local pickup only. But that would be sweet to find something like that. Now they're just making me hungry. Mmm. My gosh, do they even make fruitcakes anymore? Look at that thing. Looks like it could just stop up your arteries and your bowels all at once. Oh my gosh. What the heck? I didn't even know that you could buy food through Sears. Look at all this holiday snacky stuff. Oh, I remember having something like that when I was little. I think my dad gave me that, like, leading up to Christmas. Here we are in the computer section, and to pick up your very own IBM personal home computer would have cost you $1,389.99. And that would have gotten you one megabyte of, what does that say? Internal RAM memory and 30 megabytes of hard drive memory and a modem. So there you go. And then over here, if you wanted to buy a Packard Bell, they were virtually the same price. And when you turn the page, they do get a little less costly. This one is a thousand. This one coming in at nine or I'm sorry six hundred ninety nine dollars. And these over here, the Commodore computer coming in at five ninety nine. And then this one here was two forty nine. Or what could you do with those computers in nineteen ninety one? If anybody remembers, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> EHS were very expensive, coming in at $494, $497, and $394. Expensive stuff. These are all in $300 range, like $350. My goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness, these huge floor model TVs. $1,800. Gosh, look how big big and clunky they were. A price of $24.99 on this Walkman cassette player. We have the Sony Walkman over here for $169. So apparently there was a big difference in variation of price and quality. 
We have these awesome yellow. What was the yellow ones? Let's see, $129 for this one right here. And then we have the Discman for $329. If you needed yourself a Discman, woo! You had to reach deep in those pockets. Look at that. $199 for Panasonic's version of the Discman. It's old stereos. Kind of like the new age of the boombox. For some novelty phones, look at this phone. It's a shoe. I've never seen such a thing. And it looks like it's saying LA Gear on it. Garfield, of course. Mickey. Ziggy. Golf clubs. Of course, you got some either, what is that? Baseball team phones. Like whatever your favorite team was, you could get a team phone. Well, guys, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And wow, what the 1990s had to offer, huh? Shoosh. Wish I could just go back in time and just start from 1991 again. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Um, but yeah, I appreciate you if you've stayed this long. Appreciate you for tuning in and watching. If you're a subscriber, I so appreciate you subscribing. And guys, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. And please check out some of my other videos. And if you get a chance to, share my channel with your friends. Um, and when you like and subscribe to my channel, that really helps uh, YouTube know that you like what's going on on my channel.